We know, well, we know first responders do heroic things every day. It's part of their job, but this paramedic who worked for the Southfield Fire Department continued to be a hero even after his death. Our Paula Tutman has a story of how his family will be honored. And Paula, this story is actually getting some national attention now. Oh yeah, absolutely, completely up front. So I'm at the Southfield Fire Department. You can see the trucks are poised to leave to save lives. Also, you can see chairs are set up for a celebration, but I wanna bring you over here because this is Lori. And Lori is about to do her husband a true honor before she sends him off for national attention. For 29 years, Gary Terralt saved lives for a living, not only as a paramedic, an EMS coordinator, but also as an instructor and a liaison for the Southfield Fire Department. He was a real asset to our department, as well as to Providence Hospital, and uh, I feel, uh, you know, I, uh, I, I regret that the guys coming up and going through the program aren't going to have the benefit of his counsel. And while he saved lives for a living, he simply cared enough about those around him to care from the heart and not the pocket. And he had a heart of gold. When he died two years ago, it left a gaping hole in the universe. His wife, Lori, is still learning to breathe again after his loss. But she knows because of his love for others, he lives on as an organ donor. And she often wonders about the person who received his eyes, those big, deep, ocean blue eyes. Maybe perhaps vibrant colors of the fall for the first time, or the snow falling, or the sun beating on the water. This afternoon, those eyes came to life again in a florograph, a painting of sorts, of seeds and crushed flower pods and coffee beans. Gary's florograph will be part of the Donate Life Rose Parade float in none other than the Rose Parade New Year's Day. Dignity Memorial sponsors the creation of these amazing portraits for families across the nation. His story was so uh, compelling because not only did he work saving people's lives, now in death, his organs went on to save other people. Just a few hours ago, Lori saw her husband's florograph portrait for the very first time at Henry J. Will Funeral Home in Redford Township. His eyes look so blue. <laughs> That's beautiful, absolutely perfect. Well, he had a great love for his family. He was just an all-around great guy who could make you feel bad or good about yourself even if you weren't feeling that so good about yourself that day. Um, it was the love of my life. Yeah, he's the love of a lot of people's lives. This was a really great guy. So let me tell you what's going to happen next. So you can see everything has been done except his eyebrows. And Lori is standing by, and some of her family members will actually be here, and they will actually use seeds and coffee beans, crushed up coffee beans, and they'll paint in his eyebrows before this entire portrait is sent off uh, for the Rose Parade. And the parade float is actually a boat, Kimberly, and his face will actually be part of the sails and Lori will be there to see her husband march in the Rose Bowl Parade. She says he would be thrilled to do so. Kimberly? Fantastic story, Paula. We appreciate it very much.